Welcome back. Uh, today we will discuss on the analysis and design of frames. So I'll open the start file. New project. I will go for a plain option. Then again uh, a plain frame. The start folder is my location, uh, meter and kilometer is fine. Next. For this time, I will start with the open structure wizard option where I have already some default models from which you can start the work. So, dialog box will come. Like our previous video on trust models, we have the next one as frame models. Uh, beyond the frame models, we have plate model, solid model, composite model, then importing the CAD, AutoCAD file to start options are there. So the frame models, see how different types of uh, analysis, uh, continuous beam, you can analyze your directly, the cylindrical frame, you can analyze your reverse cylinder, cylindrical frame, uh, circular beam, the floor grid, mid frame, bay frame. We will go with the bay frame. Double click. Uh, we'll go for a uh, say a single uh, bay to height. So I length is a uh, four meter. Height did be a uh, four meter, and width is actually zero. And number of bays along length can be one. Number of bays along height can be two. It can be uh, uh, it can be one. Play. Right. So we got a uh, plane frame. Go to file, merge model with start pro. We'll see the front view. Fine. Then we have in general the property first as we are going to design and analyze a steel frame we will go to section database and we will choose a section as a column and also I section as a beam we will take a higher I section then add and for beam we will select say channel section yeah is lc200 and now we have to assign uh, this uh, so now the beam cursor is active so the first one is for the columns assigned to certain beams assign let the beams next one uh, assigned to certain beams assigned so r1 and r2 are the two materials here one and two then we'll go for the support support uh, go for a create option we'll go for a fixer case and uh, select in the nodes cursor select both it. Here you can use this option dimension uh, display will give you the dimension so we have height we have given total 4 meter height right so that will be divided among the number of uh, bays along the number of stories so uh, 2 meters the height and we have the length as the 4 meter so we can uh, Switch it off also. Remove. Now we have the lots and definition, load gauge details, add. We'll go for a dead load. Add. Then we have got live load, LL. Dead load, add. We will give the self weight, add. Then for uh, this case, we will 
uh, try a new load case which is called as uh, uh, floor load okay for the dead load case will give like, say uh, member load and for live load will give the floor load okay. so the value i am giving is say minus 1 km per meter global y add then i am taking this live load add go for the floor load so you can actually fix the range here so you are fixing uh, some the load as say minus 1 say minus 1 and you have to give the range of y the y is ranging from 0 to 2 here then 2 to 4 here so i'm going to apply uh, minus 1 for the topmost floor so the range will be uh, like beyond 2 say 3 to 5 this means that all the floor having uh, all the floor will be uh, which is in this range will be assigned minus 1 so we have only this floor coming in this range add it's already assigned because we have already selected the range and it uh, it is directly assigned to that next we'll select minus 2 say how to select a uh, give for this beam it should give the range as uh, between uh, like say uh, should be less than two value and more than two value say we are giving one and three so that the load will be assigned to this this beam add close okay so the then self weight uh, we have to assign for the ender view assign and ugl i am giving for only the both the beams assigned to beams so we have given the uh, loads now we can go to the design option uh, steel take is 800 lsd parameters we can give the ultimate strength as well as the Yield strength okay define parameters i'm giving the default values and close so i'm giving uh, this to the ender view assign and this also assign so it's deleted beams assign commands uh, check code add fixed loop group member takeoff add and yeah now i have to give this one to the assign to view assign check code assign to view assign to view now go for analysis analysis and print now print add close analyze run analysis save we have zero error two warning and one note we output file run so we have the results tab here still design 
which gives the mm, yeah so all the members are pass here member 1 is pass member 2 is pass 3 is pass 4 is pass and 5 is pass so all the uh, structural members or the uh, given structural dimensions uh, are okay for the current loading you get the type of total quantity of steel required for uh, this uh, frame and uh, in post processing you can go here you can select the dead load uh, live load for different values of uh, bending moments so the moment about is said moment about by x f we said f by fx can be obtained by clicking on the respective tabs so that's about the video for today thank you